is a thing called life and death. Life and death. Those are two hard words. Because you're either living or you're dead. And once you're dead, you're not coming back to life. And what you do while you're living will determine where you go after you die. It's plain and simple to see. If you reject the gospel of Jesus Christ, God will reject you. And if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. You know, it's man and religion and the devil who wants you to jump through hoops. It's the Bible that says, just believe. Are you washed in the blood? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing blood? Nothing but Jesus Christ. Now, life and death if while you're living, you put your faith and trust in Jesus, when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. When you die in rejection and rebellion against Jesus Christ, you'll die and you'll wake up in a place called hell. Salvation. Salvation is in the finished work of Jesus. And not what you can do. When you die in your works, in your goodness, in your religion, in you, 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 when you die in that, you're without hope. You're without God. Salvation is of Jesus Christ. And there is no heaven for you in rejecting God who is in heaven. Again, going to heaven, God made heaven, God's throne is in heaven. And the way to heaven is through God. And without God, there's no heaven. When the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For by grace are ye saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man boast. It's not what you can do. It's what God has done. God has died according to the scriptures and was buried and God arose from the grave three days and three nights according to the scriptures just put your faith and trust in Jesus and he'll take care of you now I'm not promising you I have believed on Jesus Christ and my life is going to be wonderful and great and hunky-dory. No, absolutely, correctly not. 
Salvation in Jesus, belief in Jesus, does not make living on this planet Earth easy or well. There are Christians that suffer. There are Christians with cancer. There are Christians on the verge of bankrupt. There are Christians whose lives are disturbed. There are Christians whose lives are afflicted. Salvation doesn't make life wonderful, but when a Christian dies, he's absent from the body and present with the Lord. And then when you die in Christ, and you are absent from this body and present with the Lord, then everything will be wonderful, great, and grand. And when you get to heaven by Jesus Christ, there's no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering, no more aging, no troubles, no problems. And God shall wipe away all our tears after we get to heaven. But faith and belief in Jesus now is not going to make everything wonderful and great. It may make it worse. All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But salvation will change your destination when you die. In death, there can be life. I know they say life and death, but in Jesus Christ, there can be life after death. And without Jesus, there is life and death and torment to follow. And the whole thing is it's your choice. You choose where you go when you die. God is not going to force you. God is not going to drive you. <clears throat> God has sent forth to you a preacher of the Bible. And the preacher is a sign. And the preacher says, if you want to go to heaven, faith and trust and belief in Jesus Christ alone. And if you want to go to hell, I advise you not to, if you want to go to hell, do anything and everything but trust in Jesus. You can go to church and be in hell. You can be good and go to hell. You could be charity and giving money and go to hell. But only believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You see, God doesn't take money. He doesn't take credit. He sure doesn't take IOUs. He takes the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ is what will purchase your soul. And the cash register is at Calvary. And the receipt is the empty tomb. Yes, you could be saved today. You don't have to wait to go to church tomorrow. You can be saved today. 
on Mongolia Avenue in Daytona Beach, Florida, you can be saved. You don't have to bow the knee. You can stand right where you are or sit right where you are and say, God, I don't want to go to that hell. God, I want to believe what that preacher's saying. I want to believe that Jesus is the way. I want to put my faith and trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of that Jesus that preacher's talking about. I want to put my faith and trust in that. Amen. I'm not going to say that prayer saved you. That prayer can't save you. Your faith and belief in Jesus, if you have believed and entrusted with faith, Jesus Christ, that will save your soul. I trusted and believed in Jesus April 25th, 1987. April 25th, 1987, I came out of the Roman Catholic Church and I met Jesus and I got saved. Now, Catholics can be saved if it's not the church but Jesus. That's salvation. If it's not you but Jesus Christ, it's not what you're doing, but what Jesus done. It's all about Jesus. It's not about what we. It's not me, we, us, you, and I. Peter said, there's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is the name of Jesus Christ. The salvation is Jesus Christ alone. You're going to die one day. You are a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. As a sinner, you're going to die. The wages of sin is death. But we have the Lamb of God who would take away the sin of the world. We have the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ can take away your sin. Only Jesus Christ can take away your sin. Only. Trust and obey. That's the only way. Trust and obey Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no being good because you won't be good enough. There is none that doeth good. You're trying to do something that the Bible says you can't do. Your saving grace is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Through the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried 
and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is salvation. That is going to heaven. And without Jesus Christ, you won't go to heaven. You'll go to hell. Without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell despite everything else you have done or will do. See, God is not going to check your checkbook on your offerings and your tithes and your charity. He wants to see the blood of Jesus Christ. God's not going to call forward your church membership. Your church membership is not approved by God for salvation. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that's approved. When Jesus Christ said of himself, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's Jesus Christ. That's the author of salvation. That is the requirement of God. That is the payment of God. The blood of Jesus Christ. The merit of Jesus Christ. The salvation of God is through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no other way than the way of Jesus. There is no other means for God, by God, through God, that you will be accepted, you will be approved, you will be allowed in the presence of God only through the blood of Jesus Christ. And through the blood of Jesus Christ thou can be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no means, there is no way you can outdo the work that Jesus Christ accomplished on Calvary and the empty tomb. When at that tomb it was proclaimed, He is not here. He is risen. And if you want to go to heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 